Good morning. Um, I'm in the midst of trying to clean up around here a little bit because I'm hosting Sada later today for dinner. We're gonna make a pasta dinner together and just spend some quality time. And um, let's see, I have yoga at two. So I'm thinking when I go to yoga, I'm going to go to Whole Foods and pick up some stuff. We're making a pesto pasta and I was considering maybe that we should make the pesto ourselves, but no, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna buy pesto. I'm gonna buy pesto from Whole Foods. So I'll pick it up after my yoga class. I need to declutter everywhere, put things away where they belong in their rightful place and just get my apartment back into top shape. I need to put my shoes away, my clothes, my bag has been on the floor. My room is a different problem. I'm just gonna tackle that on another day because my room, I need to organize my entire closet. But everything else in my apartment, I need to declutter. I have to put those away, the wipes. Yeah, it's just a lot going on. And I also need to make breakfast. Yeah, that's the agenda for today. I'm going to clean, go to yoga, go to Whole Foods, come home, get ready for Sada to arrive, and then we're gonna make dinner and have fun and just chill out for the rest of the day. Also, the snow that we got yesterday is melting so fast. Like, look, it's all nearly gone. The sun has been shining so much lately. Like, this is amazing. People think that New York City snow days are these cute, fun experiences. Like, no, when it snows in New York, it's fucking disgusting. Like, it turns into slush. There's dog shit in the snow. There's human shit in the snow. A lot of disgusting stuff hiding below the snow surface. And then, like, when the snow gets that, like, that brown, mushy, grayish color, oh, I could throw up thinking about it. Snow in New York is not a fun thing if you live in New York. Maybe if you are visiting the first day of snowfall, then, like, sure, it's cute, aw, but beyond that, not even the first, the first hour of snowfall. Beyond that, it is the worst experience ever. Right, I'm done cleaning for now. So let me show you guys what I've done so far. I took the clothes off of that. <laughs> um, and then I just put this tablecloth on my dining table ahead of time. I don't think I'll have time to do that later. So just in case I don't. And then I slightly decluttered this place. I still have to come back and fix it when I'm done eating, but I'm too hungry to focus on this right now. And yeah, tablecloth on dining table. I need to buy more fruit. And this doesn't belong here, obviously. Right now I'm starving, so I'm gonna figure out what I want to eat for breakfast. I'm definitely gonna make a smoothie. I'm having the weirdest conversation on Instagram. This guy DM'd me and he was like, I think I see your mom at a bar. And I was like, what? Oh no, my mom wouldn't be at a bar. And further, she lives in Atlanta, not New York, so you didn't see her. He proceeds to send me a photo of this woman that looks nothing like me or my mom. <laughs> he goes, this isn't her. Mind you, I just spent the last weekend posting photos from my mom's 60th birthday party. So you know what my mom looks like. And she looks nothing like this woman, but you're insisting on continuing this conversation. So I send that like emoji face because like, what are we talking, stop. So I send that back to him and then he goes, it doesn't really matter, just using that as an excuse to make conversation with you. This is weird. I don't like this conversation and I don't wanna have a conversation about my mother. Like what? Shut up, men are so weird and annoying. But for today's smoothie, we are going to do an apple. This is my aloe vera gel. My sea moss that I just bought yesterday. Strawberries, blueberries. These are optional as always. Vital proteins, collagen powder, hyaluronic acid, ginger. I might not use the whole ginger, I might use like half of this. And ginger. I'm gonna add in these frozen strawberries because I'm almost done with them anyway, so I may as well just use the rest of them. All right, 
taste test. Let's see what it's giving. I'm so nervous. If I had pineapples, this would be a perfect smoothie. But, uh, damn it. I should have added dates. Maybe dates would have made it a bit sweeter. But it's pretty good. If you don't like super sweet smoothies, like it's a good balanced taste. It doesn't taste bad. There's a slight bitterness to it, and I think that's the aloe vera. But again, it doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good. It's balanced flavor. It's not too sweet. It's just, it's like a plain flavored smoothie. Hola. All right, I made my eggs. And I'm about to eat with my agave bread. So right now it is 11.50. My yoga class is at 2, so I still have a lot of time to kill. I'm probably going to read my book. Okay, so I was initially going to make this shrimp pesto pasta with sada for dinner later, but she's allergic to shellfish. So now I'm brainstorming like other ways we could add a protein. Would sausage be weird in a pesto pasta? I'm checking Pinterest for recipes just in case, but I feel like maybe we can do a sausage. There's also chicken, but I feel like we need to make the chicken separately. Well, let me see what they say to do. Hold on. about to fix this bouquet up and put it in my vase just to make my apartment look a bit more homey since I am hosting today and yeah just like a nice little touch on things so let me do this really quickly and you guys can watch me do it I feel like flowers they don't really smell like anything to me they never do they just smell like grass and not even really, but anyway, let's get to work. much water to put in certain flowers I know different types of flowers need different levels of water so let me see I don't know we're just doing trial and error here and whatever works works so I think this is good for now I'm not sure why this happened but for some reason the sound for all of these clips is 
completely gone it's mute but i came over for sunday dinner and this is just us getting into the process of making the food we're making a creamy garlic pesto pasta and we're using sausage instead of chicken breast 